Walkthrough, and this is Tom Riddle's diary. Starting off this level is a little bit of an annoyance, mostly because of having to deal with Moaning Myrtle. And what you have to do for this boss fight, if you want to call it that, is throw back what's uh, send back what she throws at you three times, and in some cases four times, and I think one of them five times, and then shoot her when she comes out of the toilet. Uh, basically, to know when to shoot her, since you can't really see her because of the toilet spewing out toilet water. <laughs> Uh, is just shoot into it every time that you open up a stall and uh, she's not going to be there the first one to uh, one or two times so that you know the third fourth or fifth time that the stall opens up then shoot it and hope that you hit her now for this part they did not do that great of a job the creators of lego of this game did not do that great of a job with the physics of the objects because if you uh, if they're ones that you can't send back, and you, they don't hit you, they're just going to fall through the floor. And even if they are ones that you can send back, they're still going to fall through the floor, and you can see that constantly. And you will see that even more, but... Right here, she came out of the toilet again. Oh, wait, no, she didn't. In the fifth one, fifth time, uh, the fifth stall, I mean, <laughs> she comes out of the toilet again, and that's when we can shoot her. And you only have to get her out of the toilet three times because the last time you can shoot her twice I don't know why that is I don't know if that's a glitch or not I have no idea but about the objects falling through the floor you will see that in a second once she starts throwing those objects that you can't send back at her which is right about here through the floor through the floor And finally we get to completely miss her and then finally hit her with a duck. <laughs> play as Tom Riddle himself, otherwise known as Lord Voldemort, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movies yet for whatever reason. And in this first area you have to build the strength potion, so the first ingredient right off is kind of there to the left and right here is a mini time puzzle and to uh, just get up there and then come over to the right and make this button and step on that which will permanently put out the uh, things, uh, platforms I guess. Another ingredient is up there next to that knight. And then you're gonna have to shoot the box, that moving box, for the last ingredient. Then you're gonna have to pick up the mandrake sitting there in the middle and blow up the... or get rid of the glass that's kind of sitting there, which will let you 
which will give you access to the chain, which you need to drink the strength potion for, and then pull on the chain. Now, there are two platforms here. You can see one that Scar is in front of, and Scar is playing as Tom Riddle right now. And somehow he magically floats in midair. <laughs> but there's two platforms there, and the first one you get this set of Legos to pretty much work with, and you don't have to do absolutely perfectly like Scar did, but Scar wanted to for the sake of perfection, I guess. <laughs> and uh, he was even saying when we were doing this, I want to be an architect, I want to be an architect, so he was doing it perfectly, which did kind of help a little bit. But the one to the right, you only get those two pieces, those two platform pieces right there. And this part is going to be kind of a timed one, and if you are no good, like Scar, at platforming in LEGO games, which isn't the hardest thing to do in the world, I know, but LEGO games have kind of weird collision and physics and whatever it is that they have in it. Uh, if you aren't any good at that, then you're probably not going to want to do this, try and get your friend to do it. If you're playing with your friend, if you're on your own, well, good luck. <laughs> but if you are playing with a friend, you can usually get your friend to just hold up the... Uh, hold up that last platform to the right so you don't have to wait for it to be built. But for some reason right here I hit some invisible thing and then uh, fell off. I don't know what happened there, but that means I gotta go do it again. So I guess, uh, I think Scar just decided to build it or... No, no he did not. But anyway for that, if you are on your own, then it's probably easiest if you just... Oh, he did decide to build it. Huh, okay. If you are, if you are on your own, just put those two on top of each other and that will be more than enough. Then pull the chain over here which will release the very creepy Lego pig. And then walk on through the door. Here's the last area of this level and it's basically just getting staircases to go up. Like right here you need to go in the back and push on the button and for some reason you can't jump through those big huge gaping arches You have to go all the way through the you have to go back uh, through the front door. Eh, oh well <laughs> And then get this wizard here to pull off the button or the switch plate whatever it is So then you can push down that button And then go on up these stairs then right here, one of you is going to have to move the uh, turny, twisty thing while the other one goes on to the other side, and permanently puts this shelf on that kind of, uh, <laughs> puts the, you know, lets you both pass, I guess I should say. You just turn the thing so you both pass. But anyway, when you shoot this banner, it gives you the bouncy thing to go up here, and then you got to get rid of the devil snare so you can get the platforms to get up to the next part. Once you are up there, I think it's easiest if both of you, well it is easiest if both of you do this at the same time, and that will open up the arch and be finished for the level. Mmm. <laughs> mm. mm. 